Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. You might have noticed the birds in the background. Yeah, that's new, isn't it? Oh, and there's music in the VAB as well. Oh look, probes. Oh my god, probes. Yeah, so I was watching the live stream and then they released this the, the, the version 0.18. So I'm really excited and have no idea what to do. Let's start with this. Oh, it's, it's a little box. Oh wait, let me zoom in proper. Hello, little remote control box. Oh, this is going to be brilliant. Hey, look, it's Werner von Kerman. Yep, he's here to check on our progress again. Hi, Werner. How are you? All right. I'll see you when I figured something out. Hey, look, they buffed uh, the, the, the atomic motor, the rocket, the, the atomic engine. Yeah. Oh, because it makes sense to put it up there. It, it, has a, it, it has a higher thrust level now. Or rather, max power. Look at this fuel tank. Look at this. Give me the fuel tank. Look at the... Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my god, it's the, the, the fairings. The automatic engine fairings. Oh my god, so cool. Okay, I think we're ready. This should get us in orbit. I like to be a little overkill with my rockets because I am not good at flying them. Why do these look like they're all the same engines almost? Wow, very subtle differences. Um, yeah, I'm using some of the new parts. These wings are new. Of course, everything looks new because it's been retextured. But the only new parts on here are this and everything from here up, the, uh, the probe. Which, by the way, okay, so we got a temperature thingy, we got a satellite dish up here, we got these little satellite thingies, we got batteries, we got solar panels, we got this... Uh, I don't know what that is. We got a gravity detector, we have an accelerometer. Uh, yeah, all sorts of cool... Okay, you know what? It's bugging me. It's a, it's a barometer. It's a pressure thingy. Yeah, that's what... Yeah, atmospheric pressure. Yeah, and... Uh, I need to set up the uh, action groups now, because I'm going to set um, certain things to action groups. And hopefully I can fly this thing manually, because I forgot to do that. And hopefully the music isn't too loud. I'm sorry if the music's too loud. Okay, so now I have an action group that tur basically turns on everything on this last stage. And now we're going to try and fly it. Oh my god, this rocket is so small compared to what I normally fly. And we definitely need payload fairings now. Like, I need to go get some. I'm thinking I'm gonna make me a new set, or a couple of new sets, using that app that lets you do that. Um, oh, let's look at the new resources tab. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Wait, why am I... oh. Alright, is this, is this engine gimbaled? This shouldn't be gimbaled. Hold on, I can't actually see... Huh. That's strange. Well, this rocket this rocket is a rickety rocket on the pad. So I'm thinking I should uh I'm thinking I should just go now. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to go now. Also it doesn't have an SAS. Which is a bad thing. So I'm gonna have to fly this completely manually, which means I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, looks like everything is working out alright so far. We got off the ground pretty good. This thing's got a good thrust to weight ratio. That's why I added those extra rockets on the side. I'm pretty sure this can make it into orbit without those, but I wanted to be certain. Also, aren't we running out of electric charge? Oh no, I put those extra batteries on just in case. Alright, I think we're going to be good. I'm not going for a perfect orbit. If I was, I would have a better system. Hey, wait, but now that we got that thing that lets you plan your flights, I might be able to get into a perfect orbit anyhow. Because um, I could use that to get into a perfect orbit. Also, I'm going up faster than I need to. Okay, now I'm going about as fast as I need to. Except I'm pitched over more than I like to be. But that's okay. We'll, we'll start accelerating in a moment. Uh, I'm okay with two-thirds throttle for now. Alright. Oh, those are pretty. Alright, so now I'm just gonna pitch over a little bit. This thing is not being my friend with controls. We don't have a gimbling it, uh, rocket on this thing. Art. 
what's our apoapsis out already? Uh, let's see, our apoapsis is almost out of the atmosphere already. Just on this stage. Right, so I think I'm just gonna try and pull it down. Now I'm just gonna have minimal thrust. Yeah, let's just go for minimal burn, and while we continue to try to pull it down, of course it doesn't want to go down, because we're in the atmosphere enough to where it doesn't want to pitch over. Oh, we're almost out of fuel on this stage. That's cool. Right, like I said, I'm not trying to have a perfect orbit, I'm just trying to get this probe into orbit don't really care about the orbit, how it ends up. Come on, run out of fuel already. Why is it not running out of fuel? Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Alright. Let's go ahead and coast on to Apoapsis. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's go ahead and use it. Let's, let's use the plan maneuver node. Come on, let me... What, do I left click? Oh, I left click. I thought you had to right click, but apparently it's left click. So, let's plan this burn out to, oh, that was a bit far. Come on, pick it up. Uh, 68 and 79, that's not quite into orbit. We're in space though. I mean, uh, we're in space, so we have the spacey tune going on here. You hear that? Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Alright, so I have a planned maneuver. So now I have to try and, like, stay on the right spot and burn for 59 seconds. Uh, I should go ahead and start the burn now. Ah. Okay, there we go. I'm turning on precision controls since we're in space now. Actually, you know what? I know that thing says I only have to burn a certain amount, but let's go ahead and put this probe up into a different orbit. Actually, no, I'll just carry out this one burn the way it's supposed to be carried out, and then I'll worry about carrying out other burns to bring it up somewhere. You know what? No, I'm not patient enough for that. Or am I? I don't know. Uh, let's just finish this burn, and then we'll see what happens from there. But yeah, I'm at my first satellite, and everything is going exactly as planned. Ah, damn, that would have been great comedic timing for something to explode, but nothing exploded. Brilliant. One second, and stop burning. Uh, burn just a little more. Alright, so, let's remove that. Do, do I... Oh, there we go, I removed the maneuver. No, I don't want to add another one. Alright, 71 and 80. I am happy with this orbit. Look at that, we have a little satellite. Huh. Does it... Hold on. Hold on. I just remembered. Um, I need to turn down the music. That's that's one thing I remembered. Oh, wait. Um, I am steadily running out of power. Huh, but not that fast. Alright, but let's hit one. And watch this thing unfold. Beautiful. I should have put lights on it see how much sun are these catching oh they don't rotate these ones these ones are the ones that don't rotate no wait are they rotating well, let's see sun exposure uh, so they're doing they're doing all right and then this battery is fully charged and okay rename vessel because right now we don't have a name for it which is unfortunate um we're gonna call this the uh oh dang it I already okay well uh, Scott, you have named my probe already. Uh, not that Scott will ever see this. Scott Manley, if you don't know, you should, uh, watch his videos and stuff. But yeah, this is the, uh, what did I just call it? This is the Tony. I should call it the Tony Probe. Cause I gotta give it the full proper name. It's Tony Probe. Probe. Tony Probe. And it is indeed a probe. And there we go, we have the Tony Probe in orbit, our first thing in orbit. I was originally planning to make something some similar to Sputnik as the first probe in orbit, but kind of already created this, this monstrosity. And I just shoved everything on it. So let's see. 
Our uh, gravity detector is detecting 7.74 meters per second. Uh, our accelerometer is detecting no acceleration. Our temperature says it's negative 117 outside, 116. And uh, the barometer says we're in vacuum. Yeah. And of course I can put all that stuff away if I want by hitting one. Huh. This thing didn't want to put away. Oh. No, this thing. Let me right click it. Why can't I? Well, there's a bit of glitchiness for you. Let's go ahead and put those solar panels back out. <laughs> Excuse me. If I didn't cut that out. I don't know if I have or not. Ah, yes. And if I did cut it out, I sneezed. That's why I said if I... Oh, shut up. Never mind. Yeah, um... We don't need this liquid fuel stage. So I'm thinking what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give a tiny bit of thrust and then stage and then full thrust and see if we can get rid of it that way. Actually, no. Let's turn that off. Let's start gaining some angular momentum. Oh god! Uh... Right. <laughs> well, it was, a, it was a perfect success. Um, right up until that moment. Yeah. Yeah. So, we have a tiny bit of fuel in here, uh, which I will use to deorbit the satellite later, if, uh, if I decide to deorbit it. But for now, we have our first satellite in orbit. And uh, that's right, Kerbal Space Program version 0.18 has come out, and you should go download it so you can make probes and docking. That's what I'm going to work on next is, well, a, a space shuttle and building a space station, or maybe just a standard uh, heavy lifter design or something. Or a light lifter, because the lifter that put this into orbit is a pretty good lifter, don't you think? Alright, thanks for watching, etc, etc. See you in space.